What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell button so you get the notifications when I post a video. I'm gonna do an oil change on the 12 valve. So here it is, 12 quarts of Rotella T. That's what I got and that's what I'm gonna put in. And I got a Fram medium duty filter. That's what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna go through the steps that I use to change my oil. First, I'm going 7, 7,500, 7,000 miles in between oil changes. You may want to go shorter depending on the oil you use, driving conditions, and so forth. So that depends on you. But this is what I'm doing, 7,000, 7,500. It works well for me. First, you're going to want to get your truck warm and let it sit in your driveway for 15 to 20 minutes and let that oil like sit at the bottom of your pan and then you're gonna start draining it. You're gonna need a 3 8 drive on a ratchet, a long handle ratchet to get leverage. Take the plug out there and then let all your oil drain out. I usually like to let it go at least 10 to 15 minutes so I get most of it out. And don't forget to put your drain plug back in before you put your new oil in. Over on the passenger side of the truck, right underneath the turbo, right down there was the old oil filter so you're going to reach down to make this easier you're going to take your intake elbow off and then reach down and take it off by hand if you can't you're gonna to have to shimmy up a wrench over the filter to pull it off the oil filter is over there and then what I like to do is fill up the new filter as much as you can with new oil and then take some new oil and rub it around this o-ring to get a nice seal so we just put on the new oil filter it's down there the Fram oil filter with the new oil on the O-ring, we hand tighten it as tight as we could get it and put it on. Also, this intake elbow, we replace that and make sure all the clamps are tight and everything's on right. You can check your turbo for shaft play while you're in there as well. This was just flatheads for this aftermarket S&B, but your stock one might be Phillips heads. I'm not really sure. Double check. But yeah, it's very easy to take that off and on. Good idea to do that. And then make sure you have your drain bolt in the bottom. And then you're gonna fill over here. This is the oil fill cap. Take this out. I put about 11 and a half quarts in first. Then I check my dipstick right here with a clean rag. And then I gradually add up to the safe zone. I sometimes start it and let it run for a minute or two and then turn it off, let it sit, and then recheck it just to double check. But after that, that's pretty much it, guys. Take care.